Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on YouTube with Audis Creations. I'm going to be going over the Locklick software and also the Locklick cutter. So as many of you guys know that the printing cut was not working well with the Locklick. I didn't have an update for then and I really didn't have anything to put out yet for that video and I had been kind of frustrated with trying to get it to work properly which I know this is something that takes time for whenever there's new machines that come out just like when I started to get into my Cricut Maker and a lot of their printing cut and calibration problems existed as well in the beginning but with the lock leg luckily they've been going back to back and working as fast as they can to try to get things right so I am a part of a few communities online on Facebook where I can see where other users are also having the similar problem or if they found a way to hack or go around some of the printing cut problems. So to resolve this issue, users claimed that everyone needed to recalibrate until the calibration values were zeroed out, meaning that the cut lines on the calibration sheets all had zero cut perfectly on those lines. I did a total of 10 calibration tests, 12 print and cut tests, and one calibration reset, which I'll go into later. It was pretty draining, but getting it to work at its full potential is very rewarding. So definitely make sure you have a bunch of print paper that you don't really care for, even if it's like extra sublimation paper that you don't really love. You're going to need some paper on hand to do all the tests. So first things first, you're going to make sure that you have the latest update for Locklick. You could do this by going to help and then check for updates. Make sure the version that you have is V1.9.7. After you update the version, make sure to go to help again and then click firmware update. So in this clip, I had accidentally downloaded version 10, but I didn't do it correctly. So I'm going back and tuning it again. I made sure to click version 10 again and then I click download. Then I went ahead and pressed next and I held down the power button and then clicked update. Do not let go of the button on your lock click until the prompt tells you it's downloaded or completed on the screen. You'll see the little green like highlighted text on the top of the prompt. And it came up and now it's done. And just go ahead and press the arrow key to the right and then click X. Do not click it to download again because you'll be in the same spot I was. When I did it incorrectly, it did like shut down the lock click like I couldn't even turn it on. So I figured I just did it wrong and I would try again. So if that happened to you, just try again. Don't get frustrated. So after doing the update, I went ahead and checked the version to verify that I did have the updated version as well as the updated firmware. After updating, I did go ahead and start the long process of the calibration and the printing cut process that you guys will see here just little snippets this overall took about four hours of me just going back and forth and seeing what i did wrong comparing each test and cut next to each other and seeing where it was going wrong i was taking a lot of notes and i was seeing if like any of the calibration values had to do with how my cut was being performed because at one time I did realize, I think about after like calibration four to six, I realized that the cut were, the cuts for printing cut were all the same and that the calibration sheets also had a huge misalignment where the zero cuts were all the way to the left out of the registration marks for the calibration sheet. If your calibration marks are not this misaligned, do not do this next step of resetting your calibration values. Just go ahead and keep testing out the calibration lines until you get that zero on all four of the quadrants where the cut lines are. To, to reset the calibration values, go ahead and click help and then click reset calibration values. You will then get a prompt that says reset calibration values. You're going to go ahead and make sure that you have your USB connected to your lock click to your computer and click your device. Check the mark that says machine calibration. Check that little box and then click reset. Once it's done resetting, you'll see the little green prompt on the very top, the little text that will come down saying it's reset. Then start the process for recalibration and remember only do this part if your cut lines are like way off to the side like mine were. I tried my best to take a picture here but I think it got kind of pixelated transferring from phone to PC but my cut lines were all the way to the left way off from the actual calibration line sheet. 
So I do want to mention that I did reset the calibration setting around my ninth printing cut and ninth calibration. It was like my tenth printing cut and then ninth calibration. But nevertheless, um, I did go ahead and do that and then I did do a calibration as you see here and that calibration is what set me to zero 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 for each of the cut lines and i got like the best cut i could get for everything i was doing like just heavily working on this for like four hours straight and it worked so i didn't even want to mess with it no more i didn't want to like calibrate it one more time to get it perfect um, i realized that along my journey that the contours are not exactly the shape of the shape of my printing cut so if you're not having this problem, don't even bother with the rest of this video. I appreciate you for watching. But if you are also seeing the contour problem yourself, go ahead and watch this part. And then we can go ahead and further elaborate on fixing the contour ourselves or kind of like having our own little hack to make sure that we are getting the exact cut shape or as close as possible to it with our lock click. I would highly recommend you to create your own print page in another software like Photoshop or if you're able to in Canva, which I'm not too familiar with, create a merged print paper of an 8.5 by 11 page with your stickers on it ready to go. I merged all my little otter hearts here, then I duplicated that layer and just made it a flat layer for the shape. I saved both of these images and then I imported them into Lockwick. So you're going to go ahead and click import and then you're going to make sure to import your sticker page first like I did here. And then you're going to click original and just press import. After that is done, don't touch it, just leave it alone. Import your contour page. And then you're going to click trace image. Click next, don't mess with anything else, just import it like that. After you have both images imported into Lockwick, go ahead and use your mouse to select both of the layers and downsize them into the principal printing cut area. Now if you don't have your map looking like this, go to the device on the right where it says connect device and make sure that you click the checkbox that says print and cut. This will give you the guidelines with the left two registration marks you see here. Then, yeah, the sole purpose of this end video was to make sure that you guys have the best contour for your printing cut stickers or whatever you're cutting. You want to make sure you have a little bit of a precise cut. But if you didn't have this issue at all, just disregard this whole end clip with the contour situation. But that is all for today, guys. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And I hope it was helpful because I know a lot of you guys are struggling with Lockwick right now. And I want to do my best to help those out there. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. I'll try my best to help you guys. And I do apologize for sounding so tired in this end clip, but it is the end of the day and I'm trying to post this to help those who are looking. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.